That's probably the closest you'll ever get to a warm body sequel. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Renfield. This is a movie directed by Chris McKay. I really have to kind of compare this experience to that of the Dungeons and Dragons movie. It's a little bit kind of chaotic. There is some sloppy editing. There is some kind of cheesiness and some pretty predictable storytelling, but it's still a fun movie overall. I actually have to say that probably one of my favorite bits is the beginning where they do a almost reshot comparison to the Bela Lugosi Dracula movie all the way down to the aspect ratio and the film grain and they put Nicholas Cage in and they explain Renfield and his experience. It's kind of this quasi branching off sequel to that original film of what would have happened if Renfield had never been broken, if Dracula had never been killed, and he just kept on taking care of Dracula. Nicolas Cage as Dracula is a hoot. He's chewing the scenery, he's hilarious, and all the humor and set around him is quite good. Nicholas Holt returns as a weird pale dude with some form of uh, life mortality issue once again. It's funny how he hasn't done a role like this in a forever, and I immediately went back to Warm Bodies when I was watching this film. He has a real fun time playing Renfield and just being hit, uh, Dracula's lapdog, but also trying to break out of this toxic relationship that he has. All, all the while he meets up with this cop, Quincy, and they kind of form this relationship that's kind of, kind of put together between her wanting to be like her father being a good cop in a city that is just full of nothing but corruption. And on top of that, you have John Ralphio. The worst! As the son of the massive crime lord industry that's running the city. And oh, I did not expect him in this movie and he was quite funny. On top of that, the violence in this film is both ridiculous and hilarious. It goes way over the top where they definitely did not use blood squibs, they use blood goops, like CG blood scoops, but they go over the top. At one point, it looks like when Renfield rips off this guy's arms, it looks like jello was just spurting out of the, the sockets. Is there any kind of horror element to the film? I would say not really too much. It's more so about the comedy, the humor, but I do have to kind of point out that there are some pretty standard storytelling aspects. It doesn't really veer anywhere off of the norm. Like, the, the film is so by the numbers that almost at one point it makes a comment about it. The big points of the film that you're there for is Nicolas Cage, the humor, and just seeing how silly the movie goes. The editing is a bit choppy. It has that ADHD almost, not as bad as say Taken or anything like that, like Taken 3 did, but it definitely kind of goes off into the, the realm of like, all right, there's a lot of editing going on here. When you see that there was three editors for this film, it makes sense. How the film comes to its conclusion, when I went and saw this with my friends, I think we all guessed the ending about 10, 20 minutes into the movie. Like I said, it's very predictable. Even though it comes about it in a quite a funny way, it still is a bit of a predictable ride. I don't know in terms of a rewatch, you can maybe watch this with your buds, you could watch this on a drunk uh, review. This is a movie that definitely relies a lot more off the concept than the execution. The execution could have been masterful. But in this case, it's just subpar, I think. If you go and see this, you will have a good laugh. I think you'll have a fun time. It's just not a high tier movie. It definitely had the idea of it and Nicolas Cage being Dracula going for it a lot more than the actual product itself, I guess. In the end, I'm gonna give Renfield a four out of seven. I thought it was fun. I had a good laugh. I thought the violence was ridiculous. There's a full-on Mortal Kombat reference at one point in the film, and I laughed pretty hard at that. But that's it for me, guys. What did you guys think of it? Have you seen the movie? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.